So basically, I bought a, a 2002 BMW. You know, it was a little bit of a project when Joel and I were fixing up cars. That's how come you see so many you know, cars lying around here at the moment. Because when we moved to the property, we just didn't have the time to go back and work on the cars. But anyway, Davina had driven into um, Aldi's um, distribution centre. She's a little bit known for getting flustered and panicked. Anyway, when she drove in there, um, she realised she wasn't supposed to be in there, so she did a panicked U-turn and tried to climb over one of the islands that are meant to corral and contain the um, semi-trailers. <laughs> so she tore the skirt off the side of the BMW. And um, so they spent yesterday fit, fitting that back up and putting a, putting a new skirt on it. So doesn't look as um, bare and uh, damaged as that. So we need to sort out the uh, thermostatic fans not coming on in the car, so I've got to sort that one out. So a couple of little odd jobs I've got to do on it for her, but anyway, you got to fix the missus's skirt when she needs it, eh? You know, especially when they try and jump big concrete curbs. But um, yeah, it's a nice little job. That helps out. Anyway, so. I'll just let you go at that. Thanks very much for popping in for that one, just a little quick one. But yeah, that's our uh, little BMW that I can't get to drive anymore because um, she ended up taking it over. Bit unfair, isn't it? Hey. So up here, I haven't been doing that much with the mulching operations um, since the council council came out and said that um, I was being a little bit too advantageous in that stuff. Although you're allowed to. Uh, mulch for your own use on your own property um, it's quite considerably um, one of those things that they're losing too much revenue from their um, from their dumps when you're taking some of the material yourself for um, your stuff it's not actually legally a a, um, a thing that you're doing the wrong thing but every dollar counts to the councils but we're only just starting to dry out enough to where we can get around. You know, still a little bit of standing water in a few spots here that I need to sort out. And I need to get in and, you know, take the um, what's names down out of the way. So it's a bit boggy in there. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're up to. Gonna roll these piles and that, a little bit of water there. So. That's why we'll whack the excavator while we load the truck out and get rid of that stuff to be gotten rid of. So that's the project that we've got on this morning. We're just uh, getting started. We went and drove the um, front end loader yesterday and checked it out. So that's pretty much on the go. We're being delivered probably towards the end of the week, I would say. Um, so it's a WA-180 Komatsu. Uh, yeah, it's an older unit. No, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, there's a few things that'll be um, good little projects for us around the property later on to um, to fix up on it as we go along. I'm just about to go and um, wake up uh, Victoria the Volvo. So, just hunting for keys at the moment. Sure, I put them in my pocket. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I want to go and get myself the new... Um, the new Volvo sign. Almost looks as though that one's. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I like that one. But she's a nice truck, she's bloody. Yeah, built back in the day like the John Deere when they were built for built for business. She's a lot older than the John Deere. She's about 85, I think she is. But um, she's got about 900,000 Ks on her. But um, this is back in the day when they really were built tough. She's got both um, both axle locks and cross locks. And she's all sweet. She needs a good clean out, but the mud gets gets really unbearable here around the place. So fire her up a bit and get her to warm up and pump her tanks up so we can release her brakes. I'm going to have to put a new floor in the back of her. Um, so basically, as you can see, she probably carried, well, she either carried heavy rocks or she carried uh, machinery. But I would say it'd have to be rocks in this case because the center floor is um, is bent as well. So 
but at some stage they stuck a light, you know, I don't know why people do this, they stuck a light duty floor in over the top, it's just stupidity, there's no point. Um, for me, I don't really care, um, so I'll put a Bizaloy floor in it, uh, and it won't bend again once I finish with it. But I, I don't know why they they go to the last gram of um, tear weight to try and squeeze as much, much productivity from things as they can. Whereas with us, we're more interested in reliability and um, you know and no hassles. You can't have the floor. When we we put a five ton machine in here. And you want to see this floor. This floor is down to being paper thin through this section here. Um, it's just not worth mucking around with these things. You know, you put a Bizaloy floor in there and that'll be the end of that. Won't be any more mucking around. So that'll be a project that we'll uh, be doing along the way. I also need to get a buddy tow bar for her. She's got a ring feeder on her, which is all well and good. But um, I'm going to want to put a buddy, um, a what's the name on there for it, um, to tow a trailer, uh, either a Bartlett ball or a, um, or a bloody, uh, what do you call it, uh, hook and pintle, pintle and hook. So it might be a pintle and hook I'd say at this stage I think, but I want to tow um, a trailer with us for a little while to be able to get the tractor around and everything else. So yeah, that's basically the story while she pumps up her tanks and we'll bring the excavator on up and we'll get started on that other stuff. There she goes. So yeah. Okay guys, thanks for popping in. We'll be chatting on with all the different projects we've got on the way. It's about 300, 308 horsepower. Um, 14 speed synchro mesh box on that one and 56,000 pound rear ends so they're massive um, rear end on those trucks and at 890 something thousand k's it's just around the block so there's a um, you know a lot of these guys are running a million and a half k's on these these trucks so um, she's still got a long way to go and we're not we don't put up a terrific lot of k's on them at that so I don't expect to be doing too much with her for a long time. So yeah, so there's Johnny Deer, 6310, and the excavator over behind her. We started cleaning some of this crap up and getting some organisation into the place since the council's visit. So yeah, that's, that's where we're up to. Just little odds and sods and little jobs for today on Monday. Monday the 9th of um, April it is. So we're going to get after it. Thanks very much for popping in. Um, by the way, we did our first slashing job with the tractor. If you didn't hear, I think I, think I have said, not really sure, because I'm a little bit out of sync with my videos at the moment, which is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, but yeah, we did a, a slashing job, which is our first um, paying job for uh, 18 months, which is nice um, to actually earn some money. She's... Um, ran brilliantly we drove her over there about 10 k's over and 10 k's back um filled her up with fuel that was a surprise she the guy sold it to me with about half a tank of fuel we ran her down a bit from that half a tank of fuel and i filled her up and it was 171 dollars from not that far under halfway so that was quite interesting so she's got a big tank on her boys eh i didn't realize it was that big but anyway, thank you very much for popping in. We're going to get some work done and we'll do a little bit of filming um, through the day. We've got a couple of door jobs on today, so they're nice little money spinners. So we race out and do those jobs and then we're going to have to start very soon getting into this um, firewood as well. Because we've just been putting that off because we've been so busy with everything else. And then I've also still got to get back up to Meriburra because I'm going to pick up that, um, that um, scarifier that the cane farmer has sold us so um, that'll be an interesting little um, run up there and I'll have a look at what else he's got then anyway thanks very much for talking to me um, we'll catch you later uh, please um, subscribe please like our videos and please chat we're always open for a chat okay g'day guys bye bye